What do you say is our identity? I think Charlotte's first and foremost known as a city of integrity. Mm -hmm. A city that if you come here to live that you accept it. Um, I like to think of our business culture as being one that's very attractive to people that want to get a job. I think that our government is absolutely known for its ethical behavior and I think our community is known as people willing to give. So all of those things are maybe a little bit different but that same individual that walks to work or goes out to eat or goes to their house of worship those values are all intertwined and that's what makes it special. Um, affordable housing in Charlotte, how big of a priority is this for you? Talk to me about the mixed income house initiatives that you have. Well, I have been an affordable housing advocate since, oh now, 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? When I grew up, I went to a school, it was George, George Carver School, and I remember so much that right across the street there were shotgun houses. And I had a best friend in one of those shotgun houses, and when you walked into her house, you could see the dirt underneath it. That's not that long ago. Housing makes a tremendous difference in the quality of life for a family. For me, when you have a place that you can call home, then you can start really doing other things. Because without that ability to feel like you have a place to go mm -hmm. that's safe and secure, and in many ways, I mean, I'm talking about the quality of the housing, the neighborhood the housing is in, that makes all the difference as you have to step out of that. It creates your own self-image. Because it seems like the housing prices are in Charlotte are high. I mean, I just know this from me looking for a house. Is that, does that mean that there's more funding that goes in to be able to help people afford houses or? This year we will have our second $50 million bond referendum. People come out and vote in November, but we've had over 70% of our community always vote for our housing bonds. And we've had housing bonds since the early 1990s. And so the community understands the price increases that you're seeing. They understand that people that work in this community ought to be able to live in this community. So they vote and support affordable housing. It's a number one priority for the city and it has been that for several years. What do you want people to know about your plans for transportation infrastructure and community safety? Because that is one of the big topics that I feel like you step foot in Charlotte and, and it's a conversation. I want people to understand that if we don't change the way that we move people around the city and create a mass transit system that works for people to go to work and go home in a reasonable amount of time, then we will have a real problem. We'll have code red days in the summer where you don't want your kids that have any kind of allergies to walk outside, asthma, health care, all of these things are related. So what I want people to know is that when we talk about transportation, we're actually talking about a, a convenience, um, something that really makes a difference for everyone. It impacts where you live, what kind of job you can get to, and mass transit definitely improves the quality of life for everyone in this community. Now, when you say mass transit, we're talking about the cats, like the bus system? More than the bus system. We're talking about our bus system, our rail system, and at some point, I hope that we'd be talking about different modes of using um, transit, whether or not it's like, how do we make sure that people that are, have disabilities are able to have, you know, ability to move around our city. How even our kids go to school, how the bus system works in the school system. Without adequate roads and adequate routes, we'll never be able to achieve these things that we want, which is continuing to grow in an orderly fashion, continuing to encourage people to not have to get into a car, that they can ride a mass transit system for the opportunities that they have for home and for work. You know, we have essential workers that take the bus every day, and they have to take the bus, so we have to make sure that they have the ability to do that. But I also want to think about the person that's driving from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Do you want to sit in I-77 traffic forever, or can you get on a bus, get your laptop out, 
really do some work, read a book, whatever you need to have to make your morning commute better, we can make that happen for our citizens and residents. So what can we look for now moving forward from you? What, what, is, what is your uh, being mayor this time around mean for taxpayers? You know, the city of Charlotte is over 250 years old and I want to have an impact, but I also recognize that the investments we make today really pay off later. So what I think about is how do we make it possible for the next generation to be successful as we have. The number one thing is to create opportunities. That means we have to have good paying jobs and to give people the opportunity to be trained for those jobs. I use it for an example, the new medical school, 10,000 new jobs, 5,000 of those jobs, you have a two-year degree. That makes a huge difference. If we can train everyone in our city to work at the medical school, they can go to Central Piedmont Community College, they can go to one of our wonderful universities. If we can do that, then that's where I would know that it's successful. I may not be around to see it, but whomever will um, understand that the next generation is what we're working towards, those are the cities that people are making a difference in right now. Let's talk about the hardest part of your job. I mean, I asked you off camera, why? Why do you want to be, why do you want to lead Charlotte, North Carolina? Why did you sign up for this? Um, yeah. wh wh where is your connection of, of the love that you have for this, this city so people can understand that? And, and what's kind of the hardest thing? You know, I, I like to say I really love the city and I love it in a tangible way. You have a sense of people can get things done here. When someone has an idea, it doesn't matter where the idea comes from. If that idea is the right idea, we will embrace it and move forward. And you can see that with some of the progressive steps that the Charlotte City Council has made. Um, the idea of having um, more housing, having source of income discrimination rules, things like that, those are very important. But my difference is that my vision and the hardest thing for me is to want to get these things done more quickly so that people can see the benefit. I think every action that we take ought to have a positive consequence for this community. And I think that's what we're seeing is we see the passion. Um, you know, from, from outside looking in, especially when you look on city council, is that correct? I mean, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth. Is it the passion that we see from both sides when, when the arguments happen or when people aren't agreeing on issues or is it just the people um, like, what is it? How would you interpret that? You know, in my former life, I um, did a lot of coaching. And one of the things that I remember most is always ask people more questions than you give them answers. Mm -hmm. And I think when you see a healthy debate, that is a good thing because people are trying to make something that happen that they understand. And questions are the best things that can ever happen. Being a good listener is also helpful. So what I believe is in the passion of the discussion, as long as it's respectful, then we ought to be having it. I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and Music Midtown was something as a young reporter that I covered. And there was some talk that Music Midtown could come <laughs> here to Charlotte. Um, can you give me the backstory on that and kind of clear up the rumors about Music Midtown if you think that Charlotte would be able to handle that? You know, Charlotte can handle anything that we decide to do. That's one of the first things. But I also think you have to figure out what this community makes, what's special to this community. I don't want to be a copy person or a copycat from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I want us to think about what we can do. And I think our arts and cultural scene is really evolving right now. Um, the way that we are talking about entertainment is different. The people that are coming into the city that want to be a part of this. Right now, I think we're more sports and entertainment, mm -hmm. but I'd certainly like to see the day that both of those efforts and, 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 and business lines are really strong.